Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel my name is Zara, it's good to have you here. Do click subscribe if you like it. I actually used to work at a shoe store so I have a copious amount of shoes <laughs> but I've always loved shoes and handbags since I was a kid. But we have a lot to get through so let's get started. So the first ones are these ones from Russell and Bromley in this beautiful tan colour. Oh, I love them so much and I wear them to death every summer and I'm just dreading the day, touch wood, that they probably fall apart because they are so, so comfortable. So really simple strap here and it cuffs around your ankle and zips up at the back. It fits quite true to size, I'm a size six and I love the little gold cuff detailing. My next pair of Russ and Bromley sandals are these ones, and these remind me of a Grecian man. Like I could just imagine this big Grecian man in shorts and like crossover sandals like this, you know, with the sling back as well. These ones I wouldn't shout about, I wouldn't say that they're like super comfortable. Again, they fit quite true to size. You've got this kind of crossover and high shine leather and a simple sling back. Next up are these Nike sliders, so I got them in the black with the white writing Nike and the swoosh logo. I will say though, I wish I had just got just the tick, apparently they can come in just the black with the tick which I think would look a little bit better, but I do still really like these. They are just some throw on shoes, like you need to go to the corner shop or whatever, just shoop, shoop, slip these on and go. Again, they fit really true to size and I really love them, they're super comfortable. And I just think they're so perfect for that kind of sports luck style. I think everybody should have a pair of black ballerina style pumps or dolly shoes, whatever you call them. So I got these from the Russ and Bromley Kids Department. They are leather upper, leather insole and a resin sole. And again, just so simple, but classic. These did cut up my feet the first couple times I wore them. I do have them in a size six, true to size. And these cost me, I think, 42 pounds. I have two pairs of very snazzy Russ and Bromley loafers to show you guys. But when I saw these silver ones, I just had to. I just had to. They're not quite patent. They, um, it's leather underneath and then it's like this vinyl type of coating on top of it. But yeah, leather insole as well and then a split sole bottom. So it's kind of leather here with a really fine resin sole so that it won't wear down as quickly. These are so, so comfortable. I got both of these loafers in a size five and a half. Again, because I've got quite narrow feet, but a lot of people tend to go down half a size because the only thing holding you on is this. So you want it to be really close fitting to the foot. And then of course I had to get them in the burgundy multi. These are just brilliant, especially during autumn time when you kind of move into the deeper colors. How rich looking is that? Beautiful. And the multi, so it's got suede on the vamp up here and this kind of mock croc finish here and on the heel as well. And loafers again are something that's just gonna never go out of style. Cost 175 pounds, I think. These shoes are just great. So they look like this. Yes. Oh, I love these. So they are a brogue, super comfortable. These ones I got in a size six. And yeah, same again, leather upper. And a lot like my silver loafers, they've got this really beautiful gold vinyl on the toe and heel cap and I don't know if you can see that but they are again this mock lizard print <sighs> they're just a bit of me I have a pair of converse who doesn't so I've got the low rise converse in the all white um they've got a little bit stained and I know some people like theirs to be dirty and ragged and I think that's pretty cool because that's a great thing about converse it doesn't matter how they wear you can still wear them but I do prefer when they're a bit cleaner. I got them again in a size 6 if it's true to size. They're great if you've got narrow feet. They're a classic, great for traveling, jeans, dresses, everything. Next up are my Adidas All Stars. So I just got the classic All Stars with the white and the shell toe cap. Feel really run DMC. Got those black stripes as well super comfortable but yeah again true to size go with everything 
great for traveling and just walking around London. Finally for my trainers, I have the Nike Fears. I've got them in the all black with the white logo. Again, got them in a size six. They are so uncomfortable. I haven't worn these very much at all, which you can probably see, like, look at that. They are really cute though. They are just really cute, quite feminine. They don't look clunky at all. I think these cost um, 89 pounds, I think, 85 or 89, depending on where you go. So my first pair of heels are these barely there, black mock suede heels from Bershka. I have stuck a little insole in them. This is the best insole ever. It's like really super spongy and squidgy. These shoes, um, they're like heels, so they're not super duper comfortable, hence the insoles. But I love them because they've got this kind of gold trim up here and little gold buckle here. And it kind of slants in, you see it's kind of chunky and it slants in a bit, so it's a little bit more sturdy than regular stiletto type heels. A pair of barely their heels are these kind of nudey, pinky beige colour ones, and they are from misspap.co.uk, they cost £25. Again, very, very simple, there's absolutely nothing to these ones at all, and I haven't actually worn these ones yet so I need to find somewhere to go to wear them. I think it's about a four and a half inch heel, maybe five. Really really sleek and yeah I like the whole foot vibe. <laughs> these next pair of shoes are by Stuart Weitzman. They are these, they're called Daisy and I've just always wanted a pair of pointed shoes. So it's completely leather, so it's patent leather at the top, leather insoles and leather sole as well. Really well crafted shoe. The heel is not very high at all and you can see it's just this beautiful gold trim. I'd say it's like maybe three, three and a half inches. I got them true to size and let me tell you guys, these are dinner shoes. They are sitting down shoes. They are not for the dance floor. These are definitely not comfortable. They're beautiful shoes, beautiful to look at. Um, I need to break them in further. I got them in a size American 8, which works out to be a UK 6 or European 39. And at the time, they cost £215, I think. This next pair are from Paper Doll London. They cost me £35 and fit true to size. Beautiful, aren't they? Just this beautiful tri-coloured shoe, very in at the moment, and it's got this kind of lace up detailing. Really, really love them, and because it's got the three neutral colours, they're just gonna go with everything. This pair of wedges, oh, they are so comfortable. Here they are. They are called Minx, and I've got them in this woven detail, this kind of tan, woven detail, so spongy. This whole thing is practically made of cork and then it's all leather trim around here. And just really simple, buckles up, beautiful for weddings, summer parties, everything like that. These ones cost 245 pounds and Kate Middleton has these. So, you know, feel like a princess wearing them. These mules are from Zara. So they're mules, so again, you're only held on by this part. I got them in a size six, though I will say my heel does like puff over a little bit. It's not like my actual heel, but just the back of my foot kind of like puffs out a little bit on them, but the seven was far too big for me. So yeah, I got them in a size six. They cost 29.99, but I do think they've gone into sale now. And they also had a brown pair. These beautiful Chelsea boots from Russell and Bromley. I got them in a size five and a half because they do come up quite big. Um, but I love the look of them. Looks how a Chelsea boot should look. But it's a near high shine leather. Simple pull on boot, got the classic little pulley thing here. Split sole again, so it's comfortable but will last long. Leather upper, leather insole. And yeah, I just think they look so perfect with jeans that are like rolled up but just sit right at the top of this. And a leather jacket. Forget it, you are just getting biker chic to a T. I just think they look brilliant. They are really comfortable, really sturdy, a brilliant winter shoe, a brilliant 
British shoe. They were 195 I think when I purchased them. These boots from Zara. So they're pointed but they're a nice wide point so they're a bit more comfortable than those dinner shoes. Um, a nice chunky block heel but if you want to be a little bit more like ooh, feminine you can walk around London in them. And high shine kind of boots had quite a bit of a moment um, last year so love them. And I love to wear these with leather trousers. God, love, love these. They cost me 40 pounds and again, true to size. I think everybody has a pair of docks. They're kind of like a rite of passage, but I love mine. Um, as you can see, they are purple. Purple is my favorite color. And what I love about Doc Martens, a lot like the Converse, it doesn't really matter how much you trash them. They just still look good because I mean, that's the kind of look I have the airwear with the bouncing soles so they are super comfortable and they fit true to size i got them in a size six but i will say they are really stiff especially around the tongue area it does take a little bit of breaking in the great winter boot great rain boot walking around boot i want to say i got them for 75 pounds at the time and i got them from camden so another pair of shoes that i have one of in two colors are these timberland boots so you can see i've got them in the classic wheat color they are quite wide and quite deep quite deep for my feet i've got really shallow feet so i have to wear them with really thick kind of fluffy wintry insoles which is fine because i tend to only wear them in winter it's nubuck underneath which is like a finely shaven suede so it's covered in this wax which is really waterproof but i picked them up in the black nubuck Again, they are weatherproof, so they are just perfect for winter weather here. But I do much prefer the all black because it's nice and sleek, it's a little bit sleeker. But they are clunky, heavy boots. I don't wear them thinking oh, I want to be chic or anything. I wear them for comfort, like walking around, and I wear them knowing that my feet aren't going to be rain soaked. And I got them on the kids department, please check the kids department because an adult pair can set you back 160, 180 pounds. I got these ones for 90 pounds and these ones for 60 pounds. So check the kids department. People have seen these boots already. Um, they were a favorite of mine and I have really worn them to death. They're a tan suede. I really need to get some cleaner and brush them up because they're looking a little bit like two different colors now. Um, but they are just so comfortable. Um, perfect London boots. Again, they're tan, they go with everything. I really like the look of them with something like this, you know, denim. Um, really spongy, rubber sole, spongy kind of insole. I got them at Urban Outfitters for about £40 and they also fit true to size. This pair you also would have seen in my haul video. They're from Simmy's Shoes and they look like this. They're a nude lycra finish and I love them because they're the ones that kind of go just above the ankle, like meeting the calf, which I really like. They're very comfortable, they fit true to size. So again, they've got this kind of rounded type of point so it's not pinching anywhere and I think they look really really great with like a fitted midi skirt or dress this little gold trim but the actual zip is still quite nude so it doesn't really interfere with anything that you might be wearing in terms of jewellery and I think this cost £35 I think. Then I have these really sweet pair of booties from River Island. They have this kind of fitted, elasticated ankle to them. They are all suede. Suede just shows up the richness of the color. Like look how nice and black that looks. I love the toe because the toe is quite square, you'll see. So it really suits that 60s, 70s trend. And it really suits my foot shape because my foot shape is quite block and square. So really, really comfortable. I think it's quite sweet for nights out as well. It costs 45 pounds. The next pair are these Stuart Weitzman over the knee 50-50 boots and they are in a brown suede. Um, they don't come in brown anymore, but let me just tell you, I will leave a link down below to the black one. They come in um, numerous amounts of colors. These are so sleek elegant, feminine. He's been doing them for like 25 years, this style of boot. So it's got the rounded toe. They do come up large. So I got them in a US 7.5. The leather is like 
butter. So, so soft. They fit every leg. Every leg, every calf. Try them on, they are so, so comfortable. And because I love them so much, I then got the Stuart Weitzman Reserve Boots in nice blue suede. I really wanted blue because at the time I had bought a long black trench coat from Zara and I was wearing a uniform that was black and I was like, I want something that's gonna kind of add a bit of a punch. So I went for these beautiful blue boots and compared to the 50-50s, the toe is a teeny bit more pointed, only slightly so, and the heel is a little bit higher. These cost 435 and I think the uh, 50 50 ones are 395. So that has been my entire shoe collection. We did it, we made it to the end. My dream shoes for now are the Stuart Weitzman Highland boots. They are like 700 pounds. So God knows if I ever will. Let me know what your dream shoe is in the comments down below. And in the meantime, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all my other social media, which will be in the down bar. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.